well. Uh, but we have another guest who is here this morning in our studio. And we love having her in here. It's been a little while since we've seen her. Uh, but she and Kathy Romano are doing an event together. Please welcome from 6ABC, Aaron O'Hearn. Yeah. Good morning. Hello yep. there, Aaron. I, you know, I was thinking the last time I saw you guys was... At the Lost Party. Yes. At the oh aquarium. Mm-hmm. Going yeah. way back. And every time we yeah. see you, you're pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. It's true. I know. I said outside, I feel like I'm perpetually pregnant, but yes. this is the last one. Well, you've been doing it. You've been filling in for the recently non-pregnant uh, uh, Tam uh, over at 6ABC. Uh, right. Doing mornings with... Uh, the uh, great Matt, Matt O'Donnell. The great friend Matt O'Donnell, mm-hmm. yeah. Who says in- hello. Okay, cool. Has it been fun other than getting up at 3 o'clock in the morning? It's been great. Work? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, cool. it's it, they're definitely tough hours, but um, there's certainly advantages to the hours having kids. You have the rest of the day with them. And sure. And Matt is so hilarious. He's great. And the entire crew, the producers, they're just great. So it makes it a lot of fun. You guys look like, of everybody over there, you probably have the most fun. I, I, I think so. Yeah. You're under, you're under scrutiny, else, but, you're, but you've, you've, you've got... It's a little more relaxed. Yeah, the I mean, and you're, you're giving two and the news. Hours. Yeah, yeah. So we have a little time to fill. Every sure. Once in a while, we can throw a joke in there too. Yeah, <laughs> but I see, it's yeah. a lot of fun. My like, favorite though is when Matt throws jokes out and nobody knows what he's talking about. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. I love those moments. Which happens a lot. Oh a yeah, lot. I know. <laughs> He'll throw very obscure movie references that we get. Yeah, and I know. Uh, it's not everyone's cup of tea. <laughs> yeah. Right. We were talking about actually Brett Easton Ellis today. Which not a lot of people, the, 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 the author, author. Yeah, and yeah. we were talking about, you know, American Psycho, the movie. And sure, yeah, yeah. A lot of people probably haven't read a lot of Brett Easton Ellis. <laughs> yes, but. yes. All right, well, let's talk fashion, shall we? Yes, we shall. You and Kathy are both uh, involved in this event, mm-hmm. and uh, it's Fashion for a Cause. Mm-hmm. It's on Friday. Tell us a little bit about it, Yeah, please. well, it's on Friday. It's the first annual Fashion for a Cause, and it's going to be really great. It starts at 7 o'clock in Ambler uh, at the intersection of Butler and Cavalier Streets. That's sort of like the main strip of Ambler, and it starts off with a cocktail hour and then goes into a fashion show and a party, and it's all to benefit Big Brothers and Big Sisters. Great organization. A fantastic organization. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, you know, we were just talking outside. There's 1,200 kids in four different counties in the area on the waiting list. Wow. For Big Brothers and Big Sisters. And, huh. and you know, it has such a wonderful reputation. And I think especially as a parent, you realize when your child is in a stable environment and it is not at risk how yeah. how many negative influences they have and so for these at risk youth i mean it's just so important that they have these mentors somebody to look up to someone somebody to give to them guidance to. Mm-hmm. and to um, show them there's a, a different way than a way they might right. because of their circumstances end up in absolutely somebody to confide in and someone who they believe is listening to them because yeah. i think that's a huge problem kids just don't think anyone's listening so um it's a great organization, and uh, the businesses, there's 21 businesses in the Ambler area who are contributing to the event. This was sort of the idea of um, the staff of Gravity Hair Salon, uh-huh. uh, which Kathy and I both go, <laughs> both to. go there. <laughs> we know them well. They help us <laughs> right. out all the time. Yeah. Right. Um, so Joe and Kara there uh, have been working so hard over the past year, because I remember they brought it up to me, and probably Kathy, a long time you know, ago. Long yeah. time ago. Um, and I know it's it's been taking up a lot of their time, but they really believe in the cause, and we're so excited for the event. Uh, do you realize Kathy is one of the most fashionable people in Philadelphia? <laughs> I do. That's a Named given. By, what was it? Did it was a Philly Mag? Yeah, no, it was Nicole Miller's. Um, oh my gosh, event. that yeah, is yeah, a Nicole real Miller's. honor. <laughs> now she got this. Obviously, she was uh, the default winner because Preston and I withdrew from this year's. <laughs> we didn't think it was fair, uh, you know. <laughs> Uh, and yep. so Kathy won. Well, uh, that was silly. Yeah. You guys should have stayed in the I know, but I mean, there's a point. Over and over and over. Share the riches, Honestly, right? Aaron, you run out of things to say at the podium. <laughs> right. So they pass a few on to me. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Kathy, I see a few familiar names of uh, models that are going to be there. Yeah, Angela. From, from our calendar. Yeah, yeah. from our calendar. Mm-hmm. Um, Julie Susie, Dornbos. Yeah, Julie Dornbos, Susie Selleck. Yeah. And um, I don't think, I'm not sure if Alicia is modeling or not, but Alicia from our one of our other calendars will also Excellent. be there. Yeah. And she works at Gravity. Yeah. Yeah, are you guys you're you're hosting the event? Yeah, so we're gonna Aaron and I are gonna host the fashion show. Okay, uh, and there's um, what's the store is. Um Oh, Free Shop. Free, free shop. shop, yes. Which has great clothes. The, yeah, yeah I, the, the Free Shop right down the street, they've um, dressed all of the girls, so they'll be walking down the runway, and Aaron and I will be describing what they're okay, wearing. Okay, so you say Angela's wearing a lovely ensemble. Yeah, right. from, okay. She can go anywhere in this light, frilly uh, frock. <laughs> right, right, okay. Yeah, Have you ever done be that before, Aaron? Have you ever hosted a, uh, an, a fashion show? Not a fashion show. This is a first, so we'll see how it goes. In many I ways, might leave it up to the music to <laughs> keep things flowing for the fashion show. It's very similar to a rodeo. Yeah. So do you. <laughs> 
<laughs> the chute opens up, they come out. Well, that's how we're approaching it. Yeah, yeah. Approach rodeo, rodeo style. Yeah, yeah. Have, have either of you ever actually walked down the runway and been in, in a fashion show? Guess before? what? When I was a freshman in high school, I yeah. remember doing it. I don't think I've done it since. And no, I'm not going to waddle down being almost seven months pregnant. Yeah, and, and I have not, which is why I suggested that we host it. Okay, that was your right suggestion. Yes. I, I did something. They had There was a fashion show of, uh, right here on City Line. They had the, uh, I guess, the, the businesses here. Oh, yeah. It was, it was, um, I remember that, yeah. It was Karen Rogers and uh, who else was there? They were dressed to the nines. I look like the simple cousin <laughs> in from the from the mountains uh, standing next to them. And I'm like, oh, this is not my element. Wait, and you were in the fashion show? I was standing up judging, which is as an right. ob- obscene a thing as possible. It's like Stevie Wonder serving as a judge for an art contest. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but you got the job. I got, got the, the job. job done. <laughs> it's what happens. Well, it's going to be a fun night. All right. Well, I that's think. cool. And uh, I'm looking at tickets. It's fifty bucks, seventy five, and hundred dollars. Obviously, you get uh, for the different dollar amounts, you get different perks. I would imagine. Yeah. I guess what S- tickets are actually sold out. Are wow. they? Wow. You can believe it. Well, that's excellent. Oh, okay. Well, can can people support the cause they can by support donating? It. Okay. All right. Um, and you just go to amblergives.org. All right. Fair enough. Um, and again, donate online there. And you can go to Big Brothers Big Sisters too, their okay. website, and find out more on how you can donate and help. Perfect, and we'll uh, we'll put that up on our website uh, for people to pass on the presidential debates on tonight. Uh, it is Brian Taff, I think, is out there. He live is for you Brian guys. Taff's out in Colorado. Um, He's he a political a junkie. Great, yeah, yeah, and you know we used to work together. Oh, in, did you? Um, we grew up together up in upstate New York, outside oh, Albany, and we used no to work way. at a station up there. And he hosted a political show. Uh, there and so he's great. And, he's totally tapped. <laughs> <laughs> Has, and now and, and and we love Brian and we've hung out with him out outside yeah. of the uh, uh, the work environment. But yeah. uh, he does always talk like this <laughs> all the time. Yeah, he does. It's he's his a, real voice. He's, it got, he's got a he's got a real broadcaster delivery. And yeah. he was funny talking about it. But I, I'm yeah? sure I'm sure it must be a joy when he's at the drive through window. Right. Yeah. <laughs> he speaks his, very clearly. He gets exactly what he wants yep. every time. Precisely. And just as I requested, no cheese. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there he is. So, Aaron, let, let me ask you now. Yeah. After you, after you have your next baby, um, uh-huh. you gonna you gonna be coming back to ABC? Yeah, you were, I'd love you to. You were away for a while. I did. And, I took yeah. a little break with the kids, um, yeah. which was great. And uh, of course, I really miss the family over at Six ABC, and they've been fantastic. And yeah. um, I really have enjoyed being back. And it's you're great. So you're great on the fun. show. Oh, it, thank it's you. great to, to see you back. I mean, Thanks. I know it's daunting to do the, the family stuff as well, but yeah. uh, you know, you can get rid of those guys. <laughs> <laughs> hey, real quick, I mean, we haven't had a chance to talk about it yet, and we might a little bit later on, but did you see the video of the uh, um, uh, the anchor who was a little bit overweight? I did. We covered that story this morning. Yep. What do you think about that? Uh, you know, I mean, good for her. I think that. Um, I was surprised that they devoted four minutes of the newscast. So are we. Yeah, I, yeah, I yeah. think that um, for those who may not know, we didn't cover it yet. But uh, a woman who received an email from someone saying that she as a public figure is setting a bad example by being overweight and being right. on camera. And she took four minutes to address this guy's email and very intelligently and very well mm-hmm. done. I mean, it wasn't like yeah. her going off on a hissy fit or anything like no, that. No, no. And, and, and I think she brought up the larger point of you know, bullying and that people hide behind things like Facebook and email because they're, it's anonymous. And so people feel that they can say whatever they want without any consequences. Um, Well, she pointed out as the, uh, the fact that she was ready to just sort of let it go. It was her husband, I guess who works at the same station as an anchor Mm -hmm. uh, was, was so enraged that he posted it and, and, and uh, to show how vitriolic people can get. Right. Are there times where you, Aaron, I mean, because as as an anchor or if you're reporting a story mm -hmm. or something like that, obviously you've got to give the fact, You've got to present it, but mm-hmm. there are times where you got to be biting at the bit, going, "Man, I wish I could tell him what I really think oh, about yeah. this." <laughs> yeah, 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 it's got to yeah. be tough. No, no, uh, not at all. I'm not opinionated at all, but um, <laughs> no, I do, and, and and I can understand that uh, she got angry about this. But I think being part of the media, that it comes with the job. Yeah. I mean, you're as, as many compliments come in, you have to expect to get, you know, that many negative comments as well. Um, do you think she hurt her case by wearing a lobster bib? <laughs> It. Stop. <laughs> 30 seconds in, we get a fat joke. <laughs> I, I really message. thought I was going to steer clear right? <laughs> commenting on that. But how, how, um, how, how public do you make yourself, though, Aaron? Like, are you on Facebook? And, uh, and, and the, does your personal life cross over with your professional life? I think 
you know, inevitably it does, you know, somewhat. I mean, I'm pregnant, so. Yeah, <laughs> and you're talking about it on the yeah, air. Right? And, yeah, and, yeah, right. And, yeah. you know, I've posted pictures of the kids, and I do have a Facebook page. I'm probably not as religious about po- posting things on my Facebook page. Um, as, you, privacy as is a good thing to have. I yeah. think so. But, you also want to protect your kids, sure, too. Sure. Um, you don't want too much information out there. But I think it's nice that the viewers get to connect with you on that level and and feel like they know you on a personal level, which we, you know, certainly appreciate all the viewers and want to hear about their families too. Mm -hmm. So, um, you guys are great about that. You have to draw the line at at some point and sort of maintain that privacy. What I, I'm eating toast. Doesn't (laughs) need to be posted. Right. (laughs) Right. Yeah. Yeah, All right. Well, uh, anyhow, we just wanted to highlight the fact that, uh, you and Kathy are both doing this uh, fashion for a cause Friday, October 5th. You can't go because it's sold out. (laughs) Sorry. But anyway, but you can, what's that, Kath? No, I was wondering if, um, if there were, like the after party was open, but that's the, the ticket includes that as well. Popular event. Uh, note for next year. Yeah. We'll be ready for this, yeah. you know, and we'll get out a little earlier on it next time. But um, uh, anyhow, it's a great cause. And uh, if uh, I'm sure you can find a way to contribute. We'll, we'll put up any information we can on PrestonSteve.com. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's AmblerGives.com for the actual event. And then, of course, you can go to the Big Brothers, Big Sisters uh, okay. page, you know, if you'd like to find out more information about them. Yes. Right. And when do you do, by the way, Aaron? January. January. Oh. Mm-hmm. You're going to work all the way up till? I hope so. Okay. Yeah. Right. Uh, hopefully it'll make things go by faster. Yeah, it might do that. <laughs> I think it probably will, awesome. yeah. Well, great to see you again. Let's not wait guys. so long next time. No, all right? absolutely. I'd love to be back. Excellent. It's good to see you guys again. You too. Aaron O'Hearn, gang. Yay! 6ABC. Uh,